What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This is a tutorial video on how to install Brother QL 810 or even 800, it doesn't matter. Please watch the video to the end. Do not skip, do not try to be a hero because this is a little bit complicated. All right, it's not just like a regular printer. So let's start with step number one. It comes with two rollers, the, the skinnier one and the bigger one. Don't use the bigger one, use the skinnier one. After you put in the cartridge inside of it, I need to turn it on, press and hold to turn it on. And there's something called editor light. Whether you're an 800 or this one, you need to turn it off. And to turn it off, it's really simple. Click and hold until it shuts off. This light must be off at all time. If it's on, it will never print. All right, let's go to, uh, after that, let's go to settings. I'm just gonna move this because I don't need it. Make sure you plug in the USB again, I mean, to the computer and to the printer. So you, it must be turned on, the editor, editor light must be off, and the USB is connected to the computer. Let's move this to the side. There's one crucial step that needs to be done, especially if you're trying to reinstall it and like you're doing some try, kind of troubleshooting. We're gonna click on settings and then device settings and VIP and then sticker printer. Once you get to this, there's some, before we even do step one and step, step number two, I need you to go to printers and scanners. Click on here and then if you have Windows 11, I need you to click again on printer and scanners. It's gonna bring you right here. If you see Brother QL810, I need you to click on it and click remove. If you have Windows 10, it's gonna look like this. And same thing, if you see QL810, right click and remove. We need to remove it, otherwise it's gonna get confused when we know when Windows get confused about printers, it's a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on remove. Now I know there is no brother QL810 810 or 800. All right, let's close back. Now I have to install two things, not one, two things. Number one is the SDK. Basically, what's that? Where that's where VIP communicate with the printer. And number two is the installer itself for the printer. It will contain multiple things. One of them, the driver and the the, the, the what is it called? I forgot about it, but it's the it's a software inside of it that must be installed. We'll talk about that, we'll, we'll see. All right, let's start with number one. Click on, on download, it's gonna bring you right here to VIP and we have, we don't, you don't have to go to the website. We have number one and number two right here. Let's start with number one, click on download and then click on open and then open, click yes and then click okay basically you're gonna click next okay do not click cancel that's all and be patient with it okay it's gonna sometimes it's gonna try to uninstall something and reinstall it or sometimes it's gonna upgrade you to the latest version that's fine see now it's time to remove finish and then it's gonna run again and then click next yes next 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 and finish so step number one is done step number two download open click yes and we got to click on auto select if it doesn't work i'll tell you what to do so let's click on auto select it did not work which is perfect do not select it manual. That's not gonna work. When it doesn't work, it means that, that your computer is not picking up the printer. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on cancel and we're gonna bring this back up right here. All we have to do is turn it off and turn it back on. So turn it off, click on hold, turn it off and click on hold till it comes back on. And now let's try again. Let's open the file again, click yes. Auto select, and then it worked. So whether it's 810 or 800, it doesn't matter, same thing. And then click OK. <clears throat> All 
All right, it's gonna bring you to this page. Um, under software, do not change anything. Under manual, uncheck it because it's gonna make your desktop look ugly. So uncheck manual. Do not check, uncheck anything and leave everything. That's what I was talking about, the P-Touch editor, yes. So it's gonna install the driver and the touch editor. All right, just gonna click OK, agree. And it's uh, first thing it's gonna download everything and then it's gonna install it. First thing is gonna install the driver. It's gonna tell you do you want the local or the wireless. Definitely highly recommended the the USB because if you try to with the wireless, if the IP address changes and you're busy, there's no we don't have time for that. The wireless is for people don't have nothing going on. This one is for business. Just click on local database because the connection is always there. Lo I mean local connection, sorry. Local connection USB. Next. Installation complete. Finish. And now it's gonna download the software, the P-Touch editor. And just be patient with it. Um, like again, it's it's super hard. When I first got it, I didn't know what to do, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm trying to simplify it for you as much as possible. But once you follow the steps, it works every time. And if you're using the USB, it works every time. You don't have to do anything. If it doesn't work, just turn it off or turn it back on. Um, you know, restart the computer or make sure the editor light must be off. I get so many calls about this. I know who's not getting the calls. Our brother, I'm getting the calls. Make sure the editor light is off. And like, like I said, to turn it off, just click on hold. We're going to test it after that, after the finish. And just, you know, sit back and relax. Going to do everything on itself. Even the last step is weird. It says user registration. I mean, it's only a $100 printer. Do we have to register it? I tried to skip all the stuff. Install. But yeah, this video basically can be used too for if you try to troubleshoot or try to reinstall um, the printer. Just follow the steps and you'll be just fine. I know you were super excited to print because this is one of the coolest stick stickers, the old chain stickers we've ever seen. It's not traditional at mm -hmm. all, and that's the whole point. If you wanna be a regular, then go use Chop Monkey. <laughs> all right, click OK to display, I guess. It's gonna bring you here, that's fine. Just, just close that and there we go, it's doing something, redirecting, just click on finish. I'm telling you, this step is just weird. Basically, I don't know, it's collecting some information from your computer. It is what it is, it's their product. All right, now we're done, let's test it out, see if it works. I'm gonna go right here, we're gonna click on uh, select an estimate, click on print, and this is where you select the label. I mean, like I said, it should be always at, stuck at like 2211 at 3.5. Click on print. And just like that, it's magic, man. It's magical. It looks beautiful. Let me just show it to you right there. It has a barcode. And the barcode can take you to the, for the customer to schedule the appointment. So it's really cool. Look, look how fast I can do that. Um, next. Oil change. That's it. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching.